Hold on. I'm going to argue that was relevant. So, wait, you understand that we had a disagreement on this where you were on the opposite side, right? No, okay. Because, hold on, I just want to bring back, because you were on the no, opposite side. No, no, because I don't think it is poisoning the world. Like, this is the problem no, 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 I have. No, 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 because you, the point that you just made, it was relevant to our uh, last conversation, where you remember when we got to the point of the discussion, where we talked about mm -hmm. whether or not Vosh was indeed um, creating anti-cop sentiment inside of his chat no. because of his rhetoric, mm -hmm. and you said no? Okay, okay, okay. So how okay. can you make how can you make the statement that you just said and that statement how how do you make that work make that work for me Okay so how can I make the, the statement about um incite, inciting of anti cop statement which I said I didn't agree with and what other statement to clarify Oh the statement that you just made how an individual person's like ideas can influence their um uh, Okay 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 their viewpoint okay. on things I don't disagree I'm, with I'm that I'm going to say this I shouldn't have said. I shouldn't have said because of, again, I think I think once we start speaking that it was quite heated, but I shouldn't have said that Vosh wasn't inciting anti-cop, um, what anti-cop sentiment. But I will argue that I don't think Vosh was inciting anti-cop sentiment that's likely to lead to harm. I'm, I'm that, that's that's what I'm gonna argue. Uh, what do you do? You categorize as posting memes about um, oh, that woman having a panic attack as being funny and like not to be taken seriously? Would you consider that a form of harm? Wouldn't we then have to consider? Okay, I feel like then, like we would, we would have to get into a really long Pepe discussion wins. about jokes. Pepe there. wins. Do you Pepe wins. Saying? Pepe like, wins. We have to get into a discussion about jokes at this point. And what jokes lead to like violence and how they and like when, Wait, when you, we should joke and when we shouldn't you, like do you think that jokes can normalize a certain attitude even if it doesn't result in like physical harm to another person yeah i can but i would argue and i guess what you're leading to here if i'm wrong is um what i'm leading to here is i think making just as an example i think that making jokes about trans people and making jokes about the police are two very different things you know, okay. I, I mean, I sure. Don't, I, I don't think that making jokes to the police leads to the same amount of harm that making jokes about trans people does. But would you also agree that making jokes about the police, like, for instance, the police wear funny vests, is significantly different than, ha-ha, this police officer is having a panic attack? Okay. I feel like we keep on getting stuck on the same points. I mean... Um, yeah, I felt Wait, let me interject yeah, with yes. a quick point of let's oh interject with a quick point of guidance here. Wait, just real quick. There is a difference between making fun of the X and making fun of an X. There's a difference between making fun of the police versus making fun of a police officer, just to be clear. Okay. True. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Okay. Um thanks for that inter thanks for You're that. You're one hundred. You never um, ever lose. GG's for life. The GG for life. Okay, so do you agree with that are relevant? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess when Destiny was arguing, making fun of, like, the police and making fun of the police officer, I, is Destiny, just for a quick question, are you, was, is Destiny asking, arguing that making fun of a police officer is, is, like, more unethical than making fun of the police as an institution, I guess? I'm not saying one is better or worse than the other, I'm just saying those are different things, right? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, do you believe, okay, are relevant, do you believe making fun of the police as an institution and making fun of the police officer? Do, do you believe one is ethical and one is not, or do you think they're both unethical? No, I think you can make fun of a, the policing as an institution. I also think you can make fun of an individual cop, but it depends on the reason. Okay. If an individual cop, like, goes around walking with his gun fucking twirling around in his fucking finger, yeah, make fun of that guy and hopefully try and get him fucking fired. Fuck that guy. He's gonna fucking hurt somebody. He's gonna fucking kill somebody. But, like, if you're talking about, like, as an institution as well, yeah, that shit's pretty fucking cringe and make some jokes. Okay. Okay, I'm like, okay, because of like that interjection we had that discussion about. Jokes. So the like, where the, are we? the the reason why because <laughs> I'm sorry. so where we're at is not all jokes are equal.
So when I say okay, I yep. can make fun of some guy trying to turn turn into Walker, Texas Ranger with his fucking pistol yeah. spinning around in his finger, right, <laughs> and make fun of that guy and try and get him out, right? Yeah. That that shit is more acceptable, in my opinion, to be made fun of than just a cop having a panic attack. Okay. Um. All right. I think. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna argue that probably. Vosh, it was unethical of Vosh, but I'm still going to, like, prefer us. Like, I'm going to, I'm also going to add the point that I don't think Vosh contributed to real world harm when he did that. That is my point. Do you, I, see, do you I, think, I think that, I think, okay. I think the difficult thing is that I think that jokes about minority groups are always going to be more harmful than a joke about a police officer. Because so, I'm going to give the classic leftist argument that everyone hold thinks. On. No, nobody's disagreeing with that. And I mean, it depends on the okay. joke, right? For instance, we yeah. would say that, like, the joke, ha ha, black people, is probably yeah. more acceptable than, ha ha, all cops are subhuman apes that should be in a video game, right? Uh, to general society? Probably. I mean, in general, we should, like, that's just gonna be the case. Like, that know, the maybe, cop maybe joke maybe is like worse. Maybe for, like, a leftist, maybe it might be a little bit different. But yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I'd say that's a bad thing. Um, but yeah, yeah. see, I'm gonna... I'm, you, I'm gonna you, argue, you, if, if it's a bad thing or if, if, a bad, if it's a bad thing or a good thing, I don't think it's a... I don't think every bad thing is a big deal, but that's, like, probably a different conversation, so... Wait, if somebody was actually saying... Wait, I mean, is this... What do you mean? Is if, if somebody actually came through and said, like, ha ha, all cops should be executed, you wouldn't think that that would be, like... Okay, no, 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 no. The argument that all cops should be executed, I would argue that is bad and that should be stopped. In the same way, and believe me, I've... Within a lot of discords, a lot of discords have banned me for this take. I believe that kill the rich is a really bad thing, and I believe it has a lot of, like, authoritarian elements. We shouldn't say that. So, yeah, of course I would agree with kill... I, I, I would agree that kill the police is a joke we shouldn't make, but not necessarily... Um, okay. What, what about... Jokes make, about... Mm -hmm. I think we can... Go on, we, what about yep. making fun of a cop for having a panic attack? I don't think it's good. But I also don't think I would say don't do that. So that's my... I, I don't believe really? it's particularly good. Yeah, I don't believe it's particularly good, but I wouldn't say, like, don't do that. Okay, I mean, so, so then... And I would uh, argue that the get, context of any situation, no matter yeah, how distressed yeah, so, I mean, the situation always matters. Sure, okay, sure, put it this sure. way. Do, do you believe that it's okay to make a joke about someone? Let's say someone goes to McDonald's and they don't get their fries in time and they, like, lose their shit. I would argue in that situation, it's absolutely okay to make fun of them. Like, this well, is the problem, well, because they're overreacting over something so fucking stupid. Well, the, that was a part of the reason why I think that, like, a lot of people weren't taking it the way that it would. It's the, like, straw that broke the camel's back. And there's, she even said it in the video, that it wasn't just that. She, you know, made proclamations to other things. It wasn't just, well, they fucked up my order, so now, you know, my day is ruined. It's literally, like, this person had a panic attack because of the paranoia and the treatment that they feel uh, has happened to them over, you know, the period of time that presumably the BLM protests were going on. And so, like, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. Okay, can, can I just say something? Yeah. First, okay, hold on. Uh, in Destiny's chat, well, absolutely, I'm ACAB. Not as individual police officers, as an institution, oh. but that seems like... An argument I have to preface with, otherwise people are going to say I'm advocating actual violence. So I need to, like, make sure that's clear. And I'm going to also preface it by saying I would never actually support the abolition of the police where people, fuckwits, actually go in and, like, beat up police officers, try to smash things. I'd support it through, like, some legislative repeal. With, with an alternative system in place. Okay, like, yeah. All right. Sorry, I just need to, to clear that. Because I don't want people clipping me and arguing that I'm, like, arguing for violence. Okay, so would you say, uh, because I wanted to ask this, because it will get more to our disagreement, would you say that it's okay to make fun of anybody that's having a panic attack? Or is, do you think it's only okay because they're cops? Um, I think... I think context matters. You know, this is sort of like... A lot of leftists have been having discussions like about when edgy humor is okay or not, and I think we're sort of discussing this right now. Um, I would argue that context matters. I would argue there are certain contexts that, yeah, making fun of a police officer who's very distressed or having a panic, like it depends on the, it depends on the situation. I'm not going to sit there and arg argue that making fun of cops in all situations whether they're having a panic attack is, um, I'm not going to argue that 
Then we could stick with the exact scenario. Stick with the exact okay. video at hand. Okay, I'm like gonna argue something that's probably very harsh here. But I would argue like the same for like teachers, the same for a lot of people in, in, in all professions. You you have the right legislatively, like legal rights to be protected from that type of stuff. But I also believe like crying and being overly distressed because people are mean to like you as a police officer and that you didn't get your meal on time and they feel like people don't respect the police. I do not think this is like a justified reason to have a panic attack. That's my problem. Do you, do you I don't think, think that, like this is a justified... Do you think that you should have to have a justified reason uh, for a panic attack to like care about the panic attack? Well, it it depends. It depends if like the panic attack is like... I guess it... Okay, it depends if the panic attack is because you have some mental illness. Sure. Or if the or if the panic attack is like over like you having a shitty day. I think like these two things are probably different. Unless we're gonna argue that all we're gonna argue. No, I, all okay, panic so no, I'm I mean i I don't think many people would agree with the idea you should respect any panic attack, regardless of what okay. it is. It depends on how we're respecting <clears throat> it though. I don't think making mm -hmm. fun of them is probably something that we should be doing. Like, and by making fun of them, I don't mean just, like, cracking a joke, but saying, ha-ha, like, what did he say, ha-ha, like, uh, I think she's crying and complaining because she can't, like, kill black people, or, like, she's, as okay. soon as she's done with this, she's gonna go kill black people. Mm -hmm. I'm not expecting you to defend that, um, because that's, that was just added to it, right? No, I think, but, like, there's... I think it's, uh, go on. Okay, but yeah. Sigma so, male don't respect any panic attacks. They're all irrational by definition. That's why they're yeah, panic attacks. Yeah. So, so yeah. So the whole meme is like I, I think we could I think we can poke fun at some of them and, and make fun of some of them. Like for instance, okay, if somebody I, I, I just I'm gonna argue that Vosha Stace was there. I think we're extremely hyperbolic. Like yeah. Why would you <laughs> wait? You have you don't even know the manner in which he made it, and you're claiming that it's hyperbolic. What? No, no, no. I've seen the video. I watched the, before you came in. The reason I got your message and the reason I took like twenty minutes, thirty minutes, sorry, to like get back to you, is because I made sure to watch that video first because I was pretty sure that video was going to come up somewhere in this conversation. Okay. All right. Because so, I thought it was important, you know, okay. to, to rewatch it. Okay, my bad. All right. So then you heard the part where he was saying that like people should make fun of her and shit like that, right? Yeah, yeah, I heard that argument. I think it's a bit hyperbolic and stupid to some degree. But, How is it hyper? You know, wait, what's the hyperbole? Like, do you, wait, wait, wait. You don't. Okay. That that she's like going to kill a black. Okay, it's hyperbole. No, 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 no. no. I, I'm sorry. I, what oh, I was no. saying was, what is the hyperbole? And like, we should all make fun of her. What's the hyperbole there? Well, I, I believe he thinks that people should, like, probably have a little joke, but I don't know if he exactly believes that. People should be like, oh, my goodness, this person is an idiot. Let's, like, all go and, like, massively mock her on Twitter and TikTok and shit like this. You know, this is, that would be, like, I think where I say the difference. I think, like, he thinks that people should probably be able to have a bit of a giggle, but I don't think it's, like, you know what I mean? Like, t to the point of mockery. Okay, so... I'm just curious. Is that a fair argument? I don't yeah, think that's I, a fair argument. I think it could be if you're giving him quite a bit of charity, sure. Um, I think a lot of sure. his rhetoric in the past have been in line with, like, a narrative that isn't exactly that, but sure. Um, okay, that's, you know... It's primarily in regards to cops. He really fucking hates cops. Um, yeah, but, I mean, a lot of people do. Yeah, but I don't think that's an excuse to make fun of their panic attacks. Um... Again, so I, think, like, I just want to. So yeah, I just want to. I want to press on the idea that you said, because if you, if you're willing <laughs> to just say that you don't care about like the idea that, you know, he made fun of him, that that's fine. You know, that's perfectly okay. But I just want to hear because mm -hmm. the weird the claim where you jump that I don't feel like I can follow is mm -hmm. where you make the argument that this won't cause people to like make fun of her online on Twitter or feel more okay, no, inclined no, 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 to do no, no. so. I thought, I thought your argument, to be clear, I misunderstood your argument. I thought your argument was that this would, this would like incentivize or encourage people to like kill the police. I thought that was your argument, just to like be clear. Oh. Okay. My then, argument then, has been no, that no. Bosch's rhetoric I, I, I act would incur some oh, anti-cop sentiment that otherwise would not have, ex have existed had he not done what he done and do what he does okay but then we have to argue do you believe 
anti-cop sentiment is bad. And if you do, you would have to then say why. Yeah, so I would say the anti-cop sentiment that he's a fervor, or that he's gaining fervor for is bad. Like, she's, haha, she's a cop. Uh, she is having a panic attack, so that's funny. Whereas otherwise, I know Bosch wouldn't just be laughing just at some random person having a panic attack unless it was like somebody was being racist. Okay, would, would, would you still argue this point if Bosch hadn't said make fun of her, but he still said she was being ridiculous and the other stuff? Would you still be critical, I'm guessing? I mean, I'd be more amicable to it. I, I, I think there's nothing wrong with saying that she was being ridiculous for having a panic attack, necessarily. I would say that do we you, probably shouldn't okay. do it, but like, I wouldn't say that he's like bad for doing it. No. Okay. Um, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I do think some of, so again, I like, I don't think it's the best. I don't think like optically, I'm going to go with optically here. Optically it's the best. Um, but hey, I mean, I mean, you know, all of everyone in the Vosh's, in Vosh's community seems to all, seem, we, we seem to uh, have this thing. You know what I mean? Amazingly enough. I feel actually sometimes like Vosh seems, somehow seems to have worse optics than like Shu. Um, but, um, I think optically it wasn't good, but I think a lot of the criticisms about the fact that, like, you know, you cut out. I think often have a culture where you say police often have a culture where is that what you said? Yep, that's what I said. Okay, continue. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Am I clear? Yes. Okay. Um, I I think the argument that like police that like tells them that they're the victim and people don't like them. I think this is probably true. I mean, you know, this is like completely anecdotal, so take this for what it's worth. But I mean, I know in Australia have, I've had my mum dated like an ex-police and uh, he like said something quite similar to like what Vosh was saying there. Um, so I think those criticisms are like Wait, so valid, you're trying to, are you, think, are you like, trying you know, to, I'm like, sorry, you cut, you cut out a little bit. Are, were you trying to say that like there's some anti-cop right, sentiment that could... I, I don't know. There was some anti-cop sentiment that, like, is going around that can affect police officers. Is that what you're saying? Did I cut out just now? I mean, no, I don't think so. I don't know. Okay, okay. Um, so, okay, ask, ask that question again because the two comes D Okay, was your, was your statement that, that you believe there's some anti-cop sentiment that can affect police officers' mental health because, like, you've seen that anecdotally? Is that what you're... No, 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 no. No, no, no. My argument is that police cultivate an over-the-top culture that tells them that they're a the victim and people don't like them. That, that, and Vosh made a similar argument in his videos, and I agree with that argument. Okay. That was my argument. Do you that, think sure, that, that optically, he shouldn't have maybe... Do you think that gone. culture exists? Um, yeah, to some extent. Do you think that that could negatively affect a police officer's mental health? What, 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 what? The police culture that they told the victim or the police or people no, not the liking the police? The, the police legitimately, like, being uh, uh, either harassed or felt uh, like they're unwelcome for doing their job or literally just, like, that they're doing a bad thing by just doing their job or what have you. Like, that... Stuff like that, like just that they're bad just because they're cops. Do you think that that could be something? Sure, that but I mean that's part and parcel feel? of the job, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> that's wouldn't you argue that's part and parcel of the job to some degree, though? I Not mean, that, I mean the point. But that should, sure, should, but mm -hmm. hold on. Should that we also that have deep sympathy for, for? That doesn't mean that we should be going around saying like a cab, and we could have that discussion. Um, no, 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 I, I, I will defend, like, ACAB to the death, okay? Like, I'm not willing to, like, concede that ACAB is, like, a bad that. statement. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm not willing to concede that. Um, okay. Because I think arguing that institutions should be abolished and arguing that individual police officers, you know, it's, it, it'll be like arguing, like... <sighs> so do, okay, you think, do you think that everybody that argues against ACAB thinks that the police officers should have, like, no institutional accountability and there's nothing wrong with the institution of policing? Or do you think that maybe that some Not of them could everyone. I think... I think okay, what about most of the people that argue it from the office. left? 
what? Most people argue it from the left. What? Yeah, that most people ACAB that, shouldn't be it. Yeah, the ACAB is kind of cringe. Okay. Okay, here's what I'm going to argue, different perspectives about ACAB. First, I'm going to argue, like, of course you have the alt-right people who just, like, like the police because they feel that it protects them from black people. You're willing to admit that, right? Sure. Okay. Then you have, like, the moderate conservatives, liberals, who I think will argue that criminal justice, like, reform is important. But they'll argue for extremely limited stuff, like maybe body cameras, and that'll be about it. Um, okay. Then, of course, I think you've got the more interventional who are very strongly for, like, criminal justice reform but do not support, like, ACAB. One, some of them do not support it because they, they, they don't like the idea of abolishing the police as a policy. Second, some of the others don't support it because they think optically it looks bad and optically it alienates people. Okay, so yeah, I'm willing to accept that, like, not everybody opposes ACAB for the same reasons, but it doesn't mean that I would argue that those reasons are um, not ethically right, but that I would argue that yeah, I would, well, um, yeah, so effectively, I think there are, like, very different reasons for, like, why people, um, don't support ACAB, so I would never argue, I think that everybody who opposes ACAB is, like, pro-racism, and, you know, I would never argue that. Okay, well, I'm just asking, do you think that, like, things like ACAB can cause an environment that could be unhospitable towards police officers and could make them feel, like, not welcome doing their job normally? Okay, so do I feel that ACAB, in order to understand you, um, do I feel like ACAB can make police officers feel alienated? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, I think that's just part and parcel of being in a police officer institution. Like, to me, this would be like, I think this would be like arguing it like abolishing coal mining, like alienates coal miners, you know? Like, how far are we going to go with this? Are we just going to say that, like, we shouldn't advocate for abolishing something that, like, a group of... What I would say is probably a good idea. Are we going to say we should not, just never on. argue that I'm optically? not making any of these points. What I'm then going to establish is then do you believe it is reasonable for this police officer to have a panic attack as a result of all of the anti-cop sentiment that's in the media? Because okay. this woman just argue... doing her job now feels like she's some supervillain that everybody thinks that she's stepping on black people's necks, people like Vosh, Think that she's just stepping on black people's I mean, some necks. Some of them are, not her probably, but some people. Some of them are. We, Come on, we've man. seen this. So you, so it's rhetoric like that that makes her feel like she can't do her job without everybody thinking that she's just a racist person that's just out to kill black people. Um. Sure. I mean, she she can feel like that, but I think the way she reacts to it is probably pretty big as well. And I think why they're reacting to it, they also have somewhat responsibility to understand the the power they're in and the privilege that they have to some degree. Okay, that nobody ever said that they didn't. What I'm asking is do you think then that mm -hmm. that is reasonable for them to feel like that woman to have a panic attack because Okay, but I don't think that's why she had a panic attack. I don't I don't remember her in that video in that TikTok ever bringing up BLM. Just just as oh, a she, thing or she, a -cab. she brought up we catch so much shit for just doing our job. Yeah. But you, you don't know you what think... that means. Let's just oh, be honest. Okay. Like you have no Are idea what that means. Okay. That could mean that could mean anything. Uh, Destiny, from, like, you gotta that she would please get this back on track or something. Please, <laughs> something about this. I I can't with this. That that one <laughs> that one's not it for me for sure. Okay, why? No, I need to. Well, please explain like why then. I think like giving up is like bad. Like explain why. Wait, are you serious? What do you think she was talking about? You. I think, okay, you said we should not reach to conclusions. That was your argument before. Do you remember that? Wait, in what context? You said that generally streamers, when they're covering live news, should not reach to conclusions, but I think you're reaching conclusions Wait, you think this about is what this person's Wait. talking about. Do you think this is a breaking news, what the person is, like, feeling? Do you think the equivalent breaking of me... Do, do you think it is the equivalent of speculating as to whether or not there are cops planting evidence is the same as speculating as to whether or not this woman might be incurring significant mental stress as a result of being a cop during like historically one of the like most uh, socialized anti-cop moments that we have um i think we're still making a reach because we don't know exactly she, you look i can give you an alternative reason of why she may feel this way 
Okay. Yeah, you can. I'm just arguing okay. based on I'm I'm arguing based on what we think is pr- the most probable. What do we think is the most probable conclusion? Okay. Okay. You can argue this, but then I would argue. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. What do I think is the most probable? Yep. Um. <sighs> And when she says it is so hard mm-hmm. to be like, I, somebody can get me the quote. Uh, maybe I'm misquoting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I, 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 I'm no, pretty no, sure I think you're absolutely pretty, on the point about so, what she said. To yeah. Some so, like, when she says things like, "Hey, you know, it's so hard to being a cop now," or like, "We catch so much shit for doing our job now." What do you think she means? Like, what what changed? What happened? That was incredibly. Like that could change. The entire environment of being a cop okay. conveniently hold on. Right, during... Right. Hold on. Like... Did I ever say that she was not talking about BLM? What I Dude. said was... What I said was... It is... It's also possible she was not talking about BLM. I absolutely believe this to, like, a big, big extent. Absolutely. Like, you know, I... I the... <sighs> I, I'm, okay, so we don't know exactly what she's talking about. This is the problem. We are reaching conclusions on what she is saying. I, I just, I feel like you're reaching reaching a conclusion that I would argue actually like puts that actually harms like um people of color and and like criminal what? justice reform what are you than the other way around. Talking about. Well, 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 well. I think if you if you're going to accept the argument that it's probable to some degree of what you're telling your audience, it that is it's probable. probable. How is it not probable? Okay, hold on. That it's probable that she, okay, was um that she was arguing about BLM. What type of idea do you think that puts in your audience's minds? That 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 yeah. okay, it's it's BLM largely has had a negative effect to some degree on society. That is like your argument, correct? From like what I'm hearing, anyway. Ah, uh, see, this is something where I completely disagree. Like this is like, oh my goodness. Wait, so okay. you think every um, single last thing that came from BLM was good? Um. What about the riots? Think, what about the oh, looting of black communities? That's such a loaded question. Well, no, okay. you literally. You're, oh, hold on, yes, yes. No, your how, statement. How, how much sta- percentage of no, people? Your, how many percentage of, of, of BLM protests were violent? Please, please, like we need to know. It was like six or seven percent. But anyway. Wow. Like, okay, so you're going to make that argument, really? Yeah. Dude? Like seriously? Yes. Because you just said. Like, you just said a second a ago. Fox News you no, you said specifically. You, do I believe that there's any aspect of the BLM that could have been bad for people? Of course no, no, there no. is. No, what I asked was, do you believe that you're putting an idea in your audience's mind that BLM is bad? No, you did not. You literally Isn't that did... what I asked? No, okay. it is not. Maybe you Hold misspoke? On. Maybe you misspoke? Okay. Des- is Destiny still hearing? Am I still I, alive? I don't know. Or not? I don't know. Okay. People in my chat um, can clip it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to ask yours or Destiny's chat to like, no, 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 at least say, if I did say that, did I say that? Is that what I said, or did I say something else? And if what, what did I say? That's what I'm asking, like for right now. Wait, what? You're asking me what I thought you said? Yeah, yeah, like, like I just what said do you it. Think so, I said? so what I thought you said was, um, what you're trying to, what you're implanting in your audience's head is that there was anything wrong with the BLM uh, movement, that, that anything negative came as a result of the BLM movement. Of course there is. Hold on, no, 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 because I, uh, okay, I mean we're gonna get stuck here, but from what. Okay. Um, okay, so from what I understand, what I argued um, was that do you not think by, by arguing that BLM was the thing she was talking about, that that cannot put an idea in your audience's mind that BLM is bad? I thought that was the, question, the argument I made. And sure, we can like get a clip because like I'm very, I, I do want to make sure I'm right about this. Unless I like lost concentration, okay. I can give um, you a because percentage. I was pretty sure that's what it I said. Actually, I believe I mean, it is. I don't know if seventeen point eight percent of the people but... I run D and D for will continue to be my friends once the game is done. I have made that calculation. I have made the calculation on four separate occasions. Um. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. What did you just say? Okay. Um. Oh, no, I was just waiting for you. Okay. So, uh, buddy, uh, I, I mean, if you want to, if you want to make any kind of statements or anything like that, I just don't feel like these are going anywhere. I don't, I don't feel like any okay. of these conversations are going anywhere. All right. Well, um, 
I feel like we've I, looped I, like I, 19 times back on similar points. We're constantly mishearing each other. But okay, am I cutting out again? Is that the problem? Or no, 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 no. I think I think we're just not. I don't think we're having a compatible or productive. Uh, All right, that's cool. Um, I guess. Thanks for being watch all this time, and uh, Destiny can hear me at all. Thank you so much to Destiny, and yeah. All right, buddy. All right. All right, all you right. have a good one. Have a good one. Right. Yeah. Bye. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I just I feel like at that point we were just like talking past each other for like fucking three hours. Hello. What? Jesus Christ. Um, so I had a question regarding your position on the amount of disinformation going on in the left and the right. Okay? Uh -huh. All right. So there's a lot of people, I'm sure you know, who gave you a lot of pushback for this. Okay? When uh -huh. you made that statement, did you mean the online left and the online right? Or did you mean in, like, Democrats and conservatives? Um, it's really hard to separate those worlds. It's getting increasingly harder because of how online... Like even politicians are. Um, yep. Online, it's for sure equal. In real life, I I still believe that Democrats fight for causes that are more rooted in reality than yeah, so, Republicans. Like for mm -hmm. instance, like believing in climate change and needing healthcare and shit. Yeah, and I would so argue. I'm, I'm yeah. probably gonna say my comments are restricted to the online world. Yeah. Yeah. So I because there was. I've I've seen a lot of people push back against this inside of the uh, the videos that I've watched and what have you like mm -hmm. you know Vosh infamously and the the clip or whatever made fun of you for it. Um, and mm -hmm. things like that, but if I remember specifically in the quote, at the end of it, you added online, and I didn't know if that's something that you stuck to, because I agree with your position. I think offline, you know, the Democrats are more grounded in reality. They don't have, For you sure. know, the equivalent of QAnon, or the equivalent mm -hmm. of the, the fucking massive, monumental election fraud well, thing. they did have some equivalence of that, but it was mainly restricted to the far-left people. Correct. I think a lot of the Bernie stuff played out pretty similarly to QAnon. People that thought that like Pete Buttigieg's wife was like yeah, fucking the guy the, that was yeah, like the company the, that owned the Shadow yeah, app, like the all that yeah. app thing, dude. I remember that app thing. That shit was a wild that was crazy. dude. That shit was yeah. wild dude. Um, yeah. So there's that, but yeah, I'm t we're when we typically talk about it, we're we're talking about like more mainstream, like most people, right? There's there's no mm -hmm. massive monumental. But when you was go to or online, not Pete's wife? I'm sorry, Pete's um sister, or mom, or something. I don't remember. Oh, I there's thought some it was her, or Pete. I thought it was it, the wife. Not wife, my bad. Pete is, no, oh, because yeah, Pete is gay. Pete is cool. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. Um, so it must have been like it was either Pete's campaign manager or Pete's campaign manager's wife or something. It was. I feel like wife was part of that, but yeah, God. Yeah, sorry, my bad. I, I completely forgot, dude. Uh, dude, is this gay erasure? Cancel me now. Um, so, no, it's, uh, yeah, so I, yeah, I don't necessarily disagree with uh, that claim then. Yeah, for sure, if that's what you were referencing. I just wanted to make sure that we didn't have a major disagreement on that. Sure. Yeah. All right, buddy. Um, by the way, dude, uh, I'm going to say. Uh, what fucking time is it for you? It's, uh, I live West Coast. Seven, it's eight a.m. almost. Wait, almost do you live with Sushi and them, or no, not anymore. I moved out. I live with my girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm West Coast. I mm -hmm. I like streaming at night. That's why I'm up at these hours. I enjoy streaming at night. At night? Okay. That's Sorry, one way in, to in more the time. in morning that leads it's into the morning. twilight hours. Yes. I think, but yeah. yes, indeed. It is the it is the hour of the gamer. Okay, these are good hours. True. These are horrible hours for uh, me to be on panels though, because I I wake up at two a.m. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty bad to be on panels for sure. Um, anyway, uh, something I was uh, I don't remember. I had one last question. Nah, not really. But listen, dude, how how I, I this is just a completely not relevant question. It's just a meme. How long are you gonna are you gonna play this game till you beat it? Yeah, I have to beat it now. I'm invested. I've learned the meta, I've got my champs down, I'm like rushing shit. Yeah, I will beat this game on the hardest difficulty. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Okay? Um my brother was literally watching you. Like he because he he's he, he I actually think it was a meme, like my brother was watching and he uh 
it like we do this thing where we, when we watch certain people play games, you know, we get in the vibe and we kind of want to play the game too because it kind of like reminds yeah, of course, us of yeah. the shit. Yeah, of course. And um, so he's been playing the game, dude, and he's he's constantly sitting there talking to me with you up on the screen, dude. And then he just tells me like, dude, Destiny's restarting again, like nine times, dude. I'm sorry, dude. It's like, dude, I'm amazed at your your endurance to be able to just restart, just instantly restart a run, just in the middle of your fucking stream, dude, just able to restart. That's well, listen, crazy. that's listen, that's the StarCraft brain, okay? You yeah, had a, is, every new dude. game of StarCraft was a brand new thing, you know? Yeah, that's crazy, dude. That's great. Hey, stop making fun of how I say dude, dude. All right? That's, uh, that's cringe, chat. That's cringe. All right? Ye posters are in. Um, Damn. Yeah. Uh, so did you, uh, uh, did you see that uh, the Destiny and Friends lad was hired by Mood? Nice. Be the YouTube editor? Yeah, it's pretty pog. It's pretty pog. Did chat, pretty did you see that? That was pretty fucking cool. And that wasn't like a joke, right? Does anybody know in chat? That wasn't a joke, right? I have no idea. I think I saw a tweet about it, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know what hundred percent went. I I think that shit is cool. I think I think it's cool. So yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to meme. All right, man. I I appreciate you playing games like Darkest Dungeon because these are games that uh, you know humans can actually watch, unlike some of uh, your other titles. Um, but, okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, do you disagree? We could have a whole conversation. I mean, more people <laughs> probably know League of Legends than Darkest Dungeon, to be fair. I, yeah. These games just work because I can do stuff in the background, though, like talking to people or reacting mm. or reviewing shit or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, I might have to go over your viewer count when uh, doing this thing because uh, I think a lot more people might like this kind of content than uh, Darkest, or sorry, than uh, League of Legends. Just putting that out there. Yeah, but people are like, people don't really like the game. They just like that I can do other stuff while I play the game, right? I mean, that's a part of the game, is it not? Come on, come on. You got to give me that one a little bit, right? No, because if I'm playing games like this and I'm hardcore playing games like this, my viewership gets tanked. <laughs> like, if I go play it, like, have you ever heard of Oxygen Not Included? Oh, or I remember those yeah. games. Yeah, if I do shit like that, I will. Dude. my viewership is completely gone. Yeah. Oh, my God. Do not return to that arc, dude. Please. I beg you, dude. I beg you, dude. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um... No, oh, but yeah, I think it's I think it's really cool that you just play games on stream. You don't really uh, meme with the uh, with the memes. I felt kind of attacked though by one of your comments recently. Okay. Oh, I just it's just funny. Melina made a joke because she pointed it out that she went on her thing for people that she follows, and there I think there were like three streamers that were watching my stuff, and it was just <laughs> funny. I think Arisan was doing it. I think you were doing it, and I think Cherries was doing it, and there might have been one other, like all at the same time. I just and I just that's just funny to me. But hey, I don't care. It's all it's all good. No, it's honor. Um, mm -hmm. Irish or yeah, if it's, if it's not an Irish lady doing shit, I'm gonna fucking react to that shit too. So fuck it, why not? Oh yeah, hell yeah, brother. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I'm also not at the level where I can just you know play video games, dude, and earn a living, dude. I wish I was. Uh -huh. I absolutely would. I want to play Pathfinder on stream so bad, but it's just you know. Oh, that's gonna be it. an ultimate stream killer. Yeah, Oof. I know it is. That that shit's the, the you know you're going you're one one thousandth your streamer your view count if you do that shit for sure. But yeah, I really like that game. I think Pathfinder is fucking cool. All right, I think that's a cool game. Uh, but uh -huh. yeah, indeed. I uh I can't really wait. Do you uh have you played the Pathfinder games? Um, I had a sponsor to play one on the PS4. That was actually really fun, but then they yeah. broke my sponsorship halfway through because the written house stuff happened. So <laughs> it's... I'm empathetic. You know what? So I've grown and I've learned, and I'm not gonna come out and say fuck them completely, but I will kind of come out and say fuck them because I think. Did any other big streamers do Pathfinder sponsor? I think it was one of the biggest ones that they got because they emailed me a few months later and they're like, hey, we know that we had to cancel that one thing, but like, if you want, here's a free key to play the uh, the DLC or whatever for that Pathfinder game. I'm like, what the fuck you, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> Are you serious? That is shameless. <laughs> that is shameless. Shameless, dude. <laughs> shamelessness. But, yeah. Uh, that is crazy, man. Um, I want to know. This is something somebody and people may not have asked you. Are you going to play Age of Empires 4? I probably will. Like, it's an RTS. And that's yeah, kind of let's get it, thinking. dude. Right. Back to the good old StarCraft Steve, dude. Let's get it, dude. I want to watch that shit so bad, dude. Hell yeah. I'm excited. I'm hyped. I want to see those hands. If those hands could work like they used to. All right? Let's go. Jesus Christ. <laughs>
<laughs> dude, I'll try to do my be... best, okay? Yeah, dude, it's gonna be fun, dude. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna hype that shit up. That shit sounds fun, dude. That shit sounds fun as fuck to watch, okay? I don't know if I'm mm -hmm. gonna play it because my hands are slow as fuck, okay? I grew up on Dota, all right? That'll tell you all you need mm -hmm. to know. All right, so my hands are slow as fuck, but yeah. <laughs> hey, dude. I'm excited. All right. Okay, me too. All right, buddy. I just wanted to kind of meme, all right? You have a good one, all right? I'll see you later. All right. All right. Have fun, peace out. Yep, bye.